everyone, my name is Rhonda Robson and welcome to my Fluid Art channel. I'm a fluid artist in the middle of the United States of America in Sioux City, Iowa. Today we're going to make these. Um, some really cool small little pieces of art. And what I've done is I've taken some skin, some paint skins, and created these little pieces of art. So some of these are going to be um, bracelets and um, earrings and some magnets and some medallions but let's get you started. Today I'm not painting, but I'm showing you how to take skin and turn them into these pieces of art. All right, let's get started. Hey everyone. Okay, so um, what we're going to do today is I want to show you how you can take skins that you make. Uh, you can create any design. So these just happen to be blooms and create different things. So these are going to be uh, magnets. I've got bracelets and I have um, earrings and I have little medallions. Uh, these were bag tags. This was going to be a golf tag. Um, and then I've got my wine glasses that you guys have been seeing me make uh, for a long time, for months now. That's all I've kind of been focused in on. But I have all these extra skins that I did for my fundraiser, for my Wine About Winter fundraiser, when I made all these little cute little glasses. And I have a lot extra over here, plus I have extra pieces, and I'll show you that, from when I cut out the wine glasses, that I can make into designs. So um, I want to kind of talk through that with you and show you how I make these and how easy they actually are to make. I made my skins on tiles and for me personally this is the best way. Now you can make them on silicone mats or you can make them on, I think people have made even baking sheets they've used. But for me, I like the smallness of the um, tiles for myself. And I can make just a ton of different colors and a ton of different designs uh, all at once. And, and I have a big stack of them over here, as you can see, and I reuse them. So I cut them out and then I will cut off the sides if it gets too thick, but sometimes I just pour right over top of this. So anyway, I have them, well, here's one. Oh, they're all sticking kind of together. That's why I kind of have them like that. But you can see how I've got the side here um, that I can peel off and get off of there. But this is just white gloss tile that I got at um, Lowe's here in the United States of America. So I'm gonna get started to telling you what I can do with skins. So I take a piece of skin, so whatever I have, and the one thing you wanna make sure that you do with your skins once you peel them off, and you can peel them off the tile about 24 to 48 hours, you can peel them off. You just use your X-Acto knife or what is technically called a utility knife. It looks like this. You cut the edges, and I'll show you how I do that um, later in the video, but you just cut the edges and then you peel them off. And keep your fingers out of the way of the straight edge or the utility knife or you could really hurt yourself and you don't want to do that. And if you feel like this one isn't as thick of a skin as this one was, so just be really careful as you're peeling it out. Just go a little bit at a time to the edge. And as you're peeling it back, get all the corners and the edges, and then the center is fairly easy to lift up once you kind of get most of it. There, see this one's quite a bit thinner than the other ones. Look at how cool that is. That's going to be super neat. Look at that. Yeah, really cool. And 
kind of thicker the paint that you have on there. Uh, low, you don't want it too thick because it'll crack, but the thicker it is, the easier it is to get off um, the tile too as well. The key though is when you do peel them off, you've got to be very careful because the white with the white will stick together. So uh, you've just got to be very careful. For me personally, I use a um, base paint to help me make sure that these are thick enough. So um, you just want to be very careful. So what I do is I put uh, paper towels in between them so they will be like this so here's all some of the extra skins that I have from what I've done here for my uh, pieces of art for my glasses so I'm just going to put the skins off to the side but I wanted to show you how I do that and then I just keep them in a pile and I use them when I want to so you can kind of see that I've got my medallions and I'm going to show you how I do a medallion uh, how I glue these on. Uh, you can also make little teeny tiny um, rounds that you can make into um, bracelets. And then you can also make even smaller ones to make little earrings. And so that's what these are right here. They're just some ones that I've already finished that I've got some earrings. And then I have these already made Right here, this is the um, bracelet. And they're really easy to make. So I'm gonna move these out of the way as well so I can show you how I actually make those. These are already done and ready to go. They had, um, they've got skins and, and I glued them on and then I put them in these uh, pieces here. So this is like a little kit, it comes with a piece of glass and then it comes with a medallion like that and then you just put it on like that after you've glued the back so I'll show you how I do that and those are what those are right there these ones okay so let's talk about gluing the glass down on your skin or even this is a plastic piece and they have a little film on there and I take the film off and I glue it down. And then I, I take this and I make a second one and I put them back to back and then there's a tag. Um, just like I do with my wine glasses, I put one piece on this side and one piece on this side and then I resin it. So it's the same kind of thing when I use for, this is, happens to be golf uh, tags that I'm gonna be making golf, ball, golf bag tags. <laughs> or you can put them on your luggage, although these are pretty flimsy. I'm not sure how well they would do when you're traveling um, in luggage, but anyway. Okay, so let's get to how do I put the glass on the skin. So once you figure out what you want, so for me, I kind of take my little glass device and I just kind of go over what am I looking for? Am I looking for more small stuff? Am I looking for the swirls? What am I kind of looking for? And I, and I was kind of thinking through this area right here I thought would be neat. I wanted to catch some of the blue, some of the green, some of the pink. So I think that area right there. I use two products. This is the one I like the best. I have used the Diamond Glaze. Um, that does work too as well. I just uh, have been working mostly with this Liquitex Gloss Medium and it, it just works really nicely. So, uh, and I tend to use this more when I put it actually on the metal. And then I use this when I'm putting the glass on the piece. So I just take this, just a little tiny bit is all you need. And I put it directly on here you take it and you just press down until 
it comes out to the sides. You don't want any air bubbles in there. And then you just let it stay overnight. And so once you have that, and I'll show you that later. Um, <laughs> now I've got the, there we go, the white on there. Okay, so th that's ready to um, come over here and just dry. But let me show you. I have some of these that are already done. These are for magnets. All of these are going to be magnets. And so I'll show you what I do. So these uh, have dried for two days. You get, Most of the time it's just overnight, um, but you can check them to see um, how long you need them to go. But these are ready for me to cut. So I just take my scissors and I just cut around the sides. Just like that. You don't want to get too far underneath because then you start taking it off and you can see it from the top. Just enough. It doesn't have to be perfect because it doesn't have to be look like exact circle. And I'll show you why. Because you're going to be putting them on the back of these. So let me just show you how that works. So I buy these magnets together as a kit. You get this and you get these. And then you just peel this off. And then you just take it and sandwich it together. And there's your magnet. Okay. So on this one, I will take this and I'll actually glue using the diamond glaze. Uh, but I use this for that. All right. So I'm going to show you a couple more that I just cut up. Again, it's super slick you just kind of go around the edges and get all this stuff off the little small ones and there's that one i'll just do a couple more for you Oops, that's that group. <laughs> so I usually do, if I'm giving, um, and I, so here's me, this is mine. I give these away as gifts all the time for um, staff. I am a nonprofit CEO and I give them away as staff uh, birthday presents or thank you gifts or, um, just, I don't know, it's it just, for me, it's just a nice little um, uh, thank you for what they're doing for our organization. But I usually make a set of at least six, some of them. So like this one I thought was pretty cool, so I made a set of eight. But I usually do at least a set of six. And I've even made, like today I had a staff who is a part-time instructor working for us that is moving but has been working for the Y for over um 15 years and oh i guess i didn't tell you that but i work for the ymca and she's been a part of our organization for 15 years so she's moving to an area where there is a lot of um nebraska fans and nebraska is the colors actually that's what this is the nebraska college university of nebraska is white and red and so i just created a bunch of um, magnets for her specifically because of the white and the red and so i was able to give those to her today and i hope she really liked them so anyway well let's go ahead and do some more of the actual magnets on here so we got that one done so here's another one we just do that put that on the back And because I have so many different colors already made from my blooms and my paintings on my tiles, that I can just pick some colors that I think would be really great. And I always have a few of these kits lying around with some magnets. And so like if somebody really likes purple, like I have a staff who loves purple. So I always try to find something for her in purple. And, um, and I made her just recently, um, as a Mother's Day gift, a pair of earrings and a bracelet, and it was all in purple, and she really enjoyed that. So easy, easy, 
Um, it doesn't take a lot of effort. Um, it just needs to be like what style of painting you're going to do. And for me personally, I've been doing a lot of blooms lately and I love the cells um, that that creates and the texture that creates, but you can do anything. And so you just let it dry, peel it off the tile, let the paint, let these kind of cure for a couple weeks, maybe a week. You can cut things out fairly quickly on them to do what it is that you want to do, whether it's magnets, whether it's a medallion for a necklace, or like these happen to be, um, I was thinking about making golf tags with these, but I'm not. Um, so I'll be taking these guys off of here, but you can make those, you can make bracelets, earrings, wine glasses, um, you can make designs on a painting, just, just skins. Don't, don't, uh, just throw them away. Um, they are plastic and they're gorgeous. And it's amazing how you can take maybe a, uh, skin that maybe you didn't like, like this one, I did not like at all how it turned out, but there was portions of it that I loved. And that's these guys right here. So I think they've turned out pretty darn good for magnets, even though they might not have looked really great for a painting, right? So anyway, I hope you liked this. Thank you so much for joining me. We'll talk to you later. Bye for now. Bye. Okay, so I have all the magnets done. And the only one I haven't done is I haven't because this has still got a little bit of uh, drying to do uh, for that guy there. But all the magnets are done. Aren't they really cool? I mean, it's interesting how each one is different. Like this is all the same color, but these two right here are slightly, you know, uh, more of a pastel look. But they're all so unique. It's like a you know, it's like a snowflake, right? Like, look at that. That looks like a tree right there. Sorry, that one right there. Doesn't that look good, that tree? Anyway, I really think working with skins is really a very cool idea. Lots of unique things that you can do. Super cool. I know I'm weird. <laughs> okay, so to finish this up, um, I'm going to cut the skin off of this and then I am going to glue it to that. So the key to, like I did earlier in the video, is to make sure that you're cutting on the sides and don't get up underneath too much. So just kind of use the glass as a guide as you go around and cutting the skin off just like that then on this one in particular you're going to want to make sure you know which side you want on the top do you want that to be the top or do you want this to be the top so let's see i think Sure, on this one. I think I'll go like this. Okay, so with that, now the next thing I need to do, and I can still use these for like earrings, they're big enough for that, or even um, a um, bracelet. So I'm going to put that off to the side and I'm going to get my diamond glaze. Okay, so the diamond glaze, all I do is just put a little bit in here. You don't need much. I tried to get to the sides a little bit, but it comes out if you get too much. Okay, and then put back that on. So let me get a paper towel. Put this on there so you can see it. And then I just put that in there and then I push. See how I said that you don't need much at all. And then I just push down. get all of the glue off the sides if it does come out and there it is now there's some on the back so I just felt that with my fingers so I'm gonna go ahead and normally I do this with gloves but 
I wanted to show you um, how that looked. So yeah, isn't that pretty? Yeah, and then you can do um, earrings if you want with it, but um, I'm gonna leave it on this guy right there in case the glue kind of is attached to the back side. So we're gonna, I'm just gonna move it off to the side over here. All right, and that's it. That's how, that's how I do my jewelry. Pretty easy. Uh, I get my jewelry on Amazon, and I think there's multiple different places that you can um, get your, your jewelry at. So um, look for what's the best buy and what you're looking for for yourself. All right, thanks for watching me. Bye for now. Bye. Thanks for joining me today. And if you're new to my channel, please consider subscribing and clicking that notification bell. And if you like this video, I bet you're gonna like these as well. Thanks a lot and have a great day. Bye. Bye.